Meanwhile, schools across the Ozarks are on high alert after multiple false student threat reports were made this week. The report started on Thursday with a threatening phone call to McGregor Elementary. Then on Friday, someone called Dallas County Public Schools saying they were going to shoot it up. And a student made threatening comments at Nixa High School on Friday. Although law enforcement say the threats were not substantial, they have caused concern among parents. Color 10 Shadaya Tomlin is live from McGregor Elementary. Shadaya, how are parents feeling? Well, parents are wondering how to navigate this very tricky situation and this very unsettling situation, but also they're worried about their children's safety. No parent should have to worry about the safety of their children when they're at school. That's the one place that I don't think anybody should. Chad Blacker has been preparing to enroll his child into school, but after possible threats at area schools, Blacker is left with concerns. You know, I think we're, we're at a point in time where you have to. I think if you don't, you know, you're kind of leaving your child in the dark at this point. This past week, schools in Springfield, Buffalo, and Nixa all received hoax calls causing law enforcement officials and school administrators to lock down schools. I think it's something that's been popping up more and more. You're hearing more about it, not just here locally, but all the way across the country. Um, you know, it makes it makes things stressful for not only the students, but the parents and then the school staff and the faculty. It's for Blackard, he says these calls are getting out of hand. It, it's an overall traumatic experience. With each of these false reports under investigation, officers have to treat them as if they are a real threat, which in some cases can be deadly. Honestly, I, I feel like they probably have their hands tied with this because you have to take every one of these reports seriously. You can't, you know, screen uh, a phone call to determine what's real, what's not real. Many parents say they're having to discuss what to do in these situations with their kids while also looking into other schooling options if the problem continues to grow. We have actually considered homeschooling, but at the same time, we've also looked into a few private schools. School officials say parents should encourage their kids to speak out speak up and speak out if they notice anything wrong or strange happening at school. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Shadai Tomlin, Ozarks Fire.